Hey, Chef Brian, how you doing today? Hi, people of Earth, how are you? Mm -hmm. Chef Brian Trowski here. I'm trying to, I'm gonna show you some grilling tips today. How we grill some salmon and how we grill asparagus. So come with me and we'll show you. This is a bunch of asparagus. A lot of people don't know how to trim asparagus. This is a good way. Bend the asparagus. Wherever it breaks is usually where you trim it. Or you can simply take a knife and just cut. All right, now we're gonna take the asparagus and we're gonna grill it. I have a little bit of asparagus here. We're gonna need a fat to grill it. So what we're gonna use is a little bit of canola oil. We're gonna drizzle a little canola oil on it. All right, and then we're gonna season it from up above. Why? Well, we want the seasoning to get all over everything. If you season it from here, it'll get all over everything. If you season it from here, it's only gonna get on one part of the asparagus, okay? A little salt, a little pepper. Okay, we're gonna bring this over to the grill. We're gonna find the hot part of the grill and we're gonna roll the asparagus right off of the grill. We want to pack the asparagus down because we want the asparagus to actually touch the grill and cook. All right, now we're gonna grill a piece of salmon. Okay, what we wanna do with the salmon is we wanna cross hatch the salmon, which puts grill marks on it two different ways. A nice piece of Alaskan salmon here. All right, we're gonna season it again from up above so that the entire salmon gets seasoned and with pepper as well. All right, we're gonna take it over here and we're gonna use a different kind of fat. We're not gonna use canola oil, we're gonna use spray. Why? It'll help the fish to not stick and it'll help release it from the grill. We're also not going to spray the grill because then it flares up and it tastes funny. So, again, we're only gonna grill the fish. Boom. Goes on on an angle, because what we want to do is we want to create those nice grill marks. So at, at four, after four minutes, what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to turn it. Notice that the sal salmon and asparagus are in different parts of the grill. That way we don't cross-contaminate our food. Also, I'm reserving this platter for the salmon because it's going to go back on the salmon. That's what we're going to put it in the oven to bake it. If you want a medium rare salmon, it's going to take about four to six minutes. If you want anything in past medium rare, it's going to take a little longer. You want well done? Well, just leave it in here, <laughs> pretty much. We're gonna season this again with a little bit of fat. That way the salmon releases it from it when we pull it from the oven. This sizzle pan I'm saving, because it's got the asparagus flavoring juice on it. When the asparagus comes off, we're gonna season the asparagus when it comes off. Yes, we seasoned it when it on, went on the grill, but we're also gonna season it when it comes off the grill. We're gonna check our asparagus. We're gonna roll it too. When we cook an asparagus on the grill, we wanna roll it, because obviously it's round. So we wanna make sure the asparagus is cooked all the way around. We're gonna take a pair of tongs here. And we're gonna roll the asparagus. We're just gonna roll the asparagus. All right? We're gonna roll it. Kinda of make sure it doesn't go in between the grill grates. All right? And it's so thin that it's gonna cook very quickly. If you have large asparagus, give it a peel. Take a peel or two it. Take some of that woodiness off. If you have the pencil asparagus, it only cooks in a little bit of time. So here we go. Sizzle platter, right? Best thing that seasoned the asparagus with? Lemon. Best way to use a lemon? Cut it in half and squeeze it. Squeeze it up, not down. If you squeeze it up, the pits stay in. If you squeeze it down, you're going to get pits in your food. It's going to be bad. Come with me. <laughs> Taking the asparagus off the grill. Here we go. What we're gonna do at the same time, when we're, since we're over here, we're gonna actually turn our salmon. We're not gonna use these tongs though, because these tongs are for the asparagus. So, we're gonna use a different pair of tongs. These are your salmon tongs, all right? I am using tongs for fish because it's a little bit easier than a spatula. Watch how I grab the fish from the side, right? Nice grill mark and turn. Boom, we're gonna give that about another two to four minutes. Now we're gonna season our asparagus. Asparagus off. We're gonna take our lemon, we're gonna hold it in our hand like this, up, okay? And we're gonna squeeze. And all that juice seasons that asparagus really well. We're also gonna take a little bit of salt and season our asparagus. Go back to our salmon, because our salmon's about to go in the oven. When it goes in the oven, we're gonna cook about two to four minutes to mid-rare. Here we go. Whoop, almost grabbed the asparagus tongs. Salmon tongs, nice grill marks. Salmon going in the oven. See you in about a minute. 
And we're back. We're about to finish our salmon and we're gonna plate our asparagus and our salmon. Towel. Always use a dry towel to take something out of the oven. If it's wet, you're gonna burn yourself, I guarantee you. Salmon. Nicely cooked. Beautiful, all the fat dripping off it. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna grab our asparagus too. We popped our asparagus in the oven because uh, we wanted it to cook a little bit more. We also wanted, didn't want it to get cold. So, I mean, naturally you don't want to eat anything cold. Here we go. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a fish spatula. We're gonna use a fish spatula for two things. To plate the asparagus first, that way we don't get the salmon on the asparagus. And then we're gonna use it for the salmon, second. What I like to do is I like to scrape. That way it releases from the pan. And then I take it off the pan. I also like to pat it with the towel that I'm using sometimes, just to get some of that fat off there. And then we just put it, simply put it over our asparagus. Hope you guys enjoy grilling asparagus and salmon at home. See ya. Stay